हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन आप देख रहे हैं म्यूजिक इंडिया मेरा नाम है मोहित शो का नाम पिक्चर अभी बाकी है अब 15 अगस्त को एक फिल्म रिलीज होने वाली है जिसके रिलीज होने के पहले ही लोगों ने उसे ब्लॉकबस्टर सुपर डुपर हिट करार दे दिया है फिल्म का नाम है एक थर्ट आएगा फिफ्टीन अगस्त ईद को रिलीज होगी स्टारिंग सलमान खान एंड कटरीना कैफ और इस फिल्म की पिक्चर में अभी क्या बाकी है यह बताने के लिए मेरे साथ एडजेक्टिव्स कौन से वाले सोचू मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा मतलब ब्यूटीफुल गॉजेस ये सब तो बहुत बार सुना है बट कटरीना कैफ क्या कहूं आपके लिए आई मीन वाओ वाओ इज द वर्ल्ड वाओ कटरीना कैफ इज ओनली ऑन पिक्चर अभी बाकी है वेलकम टू द शो थैंक यू वेरी मच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू लुक गॉजेस इन द प्रोमोज आई मीन आई नो यू हर्ड इट 1000 टाइम्स बट लेट मी जस्ट से इट वंस अगेन नो नो दैट्स फाइन इट्स इज बेटर देन इमेजिन वन डे यू नो यू नॉट लुकिंग सो नाइस इन द प्रोमोज आई मीन व्हाट हैपेंड सो आई वुड रादर हियर द you know you're looking nice one to one too many times then they nah, not looking so good what happened <laughs> you know frankly that day will never come good thing i mean i mean we're too sure <laughs> all right tell me um is film ke release hone ke pehle like i said bahut zyada pressure expectations ho gaya hai super hit hone wali hai picture at this point of your career when you have like such an illustrious uh, history for you uh, does it still bother or does it bring you in a little ples- pressure jab film ka itna zyada craze ho jata hai i think so yes because you know i almost think it's in some way easier to be part of a- kind of underdog film you know that's fighting and then you're like no let's try and let's see what happens and um that's that that in some ways you know you're striving for something when you have a film like with ekta tiger which everyone has kind of decided already oh you know so much hype so much uh, expectation you have the you have more pressure that now it has to happen you know when you're the underdog you're like well maybe it didn't happen it's okay yeah. uh, and then when it does you feel really good but now when you, everyone's kind of already pre-decided that no this film has to be like you know this huge blockbuster you're under a lot of pressure like i'm feeling very very like sorry for our director Kabir Khan because when he started the film there was all this pressure to be part of this you know this film has to make 100 crores and i remember this discussion one day me saying that oh you know but no not necessarily and you know this is a different kind of a film and maybe you know um who knows i don't think it has to make 100 crores now 8 months later the film has um been made it's coming up for release and not 100 crores but people are putting the pressure on kabir to deliver 200 crores <laughs> so you know a poor guy i think is going to have a little bit of a heart attack and i think he must be under tremendous pressure well let's hope it's a happy heart attack with like a good news I that the film so. is yeah i hope so i th- i think so i mean we've made a credible film i mean seriously speaking i don't think you can ever make a film you should not make a film for the purpose of it making one or two or three uh, you know 100 crores at the box office you should just make a film because you have something to say you know if a director has something to say with a script with this film i i've always seen that it will go right you know right if it's a film made uh from the heart and you know it's made with the intention of creating good cinema it it will do well absolutely now uh jitna film ke bare mein humko pata hai we've been told it's the story of a spy and you know how his love life and his romance and his action yes. are you the damsel in distress in the movie no <laughs> <laughs> see uh kabir khan i don't think it's in his it's not in his make that he can write a damsel in distress role i don't think ever um women in his films have to be uh they have to have interesting characters they have to have um you know an important role they can't just kind of be be you know by the way or you know just kind of happening somewhere right along the yeah um even in new york if you go to see i mean the girl goes through a lot but um she's strong you know she 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 takes her own decisions and she she makes her decisions she, she explains them she has a mind yeah. it's not that she's just you know oh poor me everything's happening to me mm-hmm. um and the same with ekta tiger I, i guess it's again with his films he has um very interesting storylines you know he makes these you know twists and turns and these kind of it's a very interesting plot So obviously when you see the film the plot will unfold there is more to the story of course than just you know la di da you know two people falling in love and running off it's obviously much more to it than that but but I'll, I can say that you know the audience will feel they'll feel happy that you know a girl does is having a credible role in a Salman Khan film mm-hmm. now uh, just give me a little more details about it because i i know you might have answered this question 1000 times again ki aap is picture mein kar kya rahe ho so just tell us a little apart from uh, something which comes naturally to you which is like looking awesome <laughs> what are you doing in the movie in this film i mean my request to the audience would be that um if they like the promos then come in and experience the film for yourself because it's a little difficult to kind of get into the details of it because it is a film where the story story is very uh it's very intricate mm-hmm. it's not like um you know sometimes we do films which are like those kind of commercial masala 
blockbuster, you know, fun and song and dance films where you, it doesn't matter what you say because it's not, you're not going to, you know, uh, harm the suspense for the audience. Right. But with this film, I think um, Kabir has presented um, very well to the audience what to expect. Um, from the film, what type of humor, um, what type of scenes, what type of romantic scenes, the, the tone of the film. Mm -hmm. And on the basis of that, if they come in, then I think they'll be pleasantly surprised. Lovely. I'm sure everybody is waiting to be pleasantly surprised. But there's, there's something which is never a surprise when you look at Katrina Kaif on screen. Um, I call it the Katrina Kaif phenomena. You know, I mean, as soon as you appear on the screen, everything blurs. You know, everything on the sides, no matter which hero, you just see Katrina Kaif. Okay, uh, really, I mean, this is like from the heart, I'm a viewer, you know, so I can totally say that. And uh, Salwar in one of his recent interviews also mentioned that if you are in 15 seconds, then those 15 seconds are remembered in the film, that's why they come to see the film. Who was the rest of the hero, heroine, who made it, that's why it gets lost. So what do you have to say about those poor things who get overshadowed because Katrina Kaif suddenly appears from somewhere and looks awesome and uh, performs great and everybody goes back saying, oh, I love Katrina Kaif. I, I, I can't quite <laughs> agree with you there. I mean, it's a nice thought. Um, it's, a lovely, it's a lovely thing to think that when I come on the screen, nobody looks at every, anyone else. Yeah. But um, I'm sure people do. You only work if the film works. Mm. I mean, you can't just um, roam around doing nothing. And obviously, if Salman is in the frame, I'm sure people are going to look at him too. I mean, yeah, that's a strong competition for you there. Yeah, so um, <laughs> yeah, everything in the film has to work. Uh -huh. like, all right. Also, uh, when you as an actress uh, do um, an out-and-out -out action movie, if I can call it that, um, we've also heard about the, the very difficult situations which you were shooting in and the cold and everything. Tell us about that. Was it? Did you also face the, so, uh, the same things which Salman has mentioned? You know, the cold in this film wasn't bothering me very much because um, I, my, my clothes were such which it wasn't bothering me. But there are, I mean, like in, in, Yesh, in Yeshji's film, um, which we were shooting in London, it was like there I can say it's it really was torture mm. it was torture it was freezing cold and the clothes were not um, you know helping and just thin materials and there it was torture so I can understand like you know for someone when it when it when you are really like feeling freezing cold yeah. it's very difficult it's I very very difficult your brain is not functioning and both the actors brave it like a tiger and come out. So tell me, in that tiger, obviously Salman is the tiger. But in your real life, tell me, who's the tiger sort of a person, the pillar of strength and somebody, you know, who totally is your tiger? Hmm. That's for me to know. <laughs> and nobody else. And nobody out. else. <laughs> I see. All right, but what we can find out is the awesome performance which Katrina has given in this song called Masha Allah. I would like to call it Oh My God, Masha Allah. So go check that song out, come back. And I have some very interesting things to ask Katrina.